the thing I thought was wrong with me was not the thing that was actually wrong with me. I have been wearing it and people have been saying, what's that, Ree? I'm just gonna show you. The um, girls are shopping. Zara's best friend is having a birthday party joint with her, isn't she? Yeah. Today is the day of the children's simultaneous birthday parties. So they are having separate birthday parties that are occurring at the same time. It is either <laughs> gonna work really, really well or I'm gonna be like, ugh. No. Hi guys, Ree here from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and another chatty vlog. It is the first day back to school for my kiddos after half term. So for me, that was very much the first day back to routine. And I feel like it's been a bit of a, a challenge to get back in routine. We went on an amazing trip in January and then the children were back in school, but we've had, kind of had illness and then half term so now I feel like it's just time to get back into normality that's what I'm craving just a bit of routine normality and that kind of thing so if you have a routine and chats and all the things welcome welcome it's good to have you so today I'm just gonna have a day where I'm really like cracking on getting on with some work we are gonna jump back in time in a minute we're gonna jump back in time and share some of our half term with you we had a really interesting half term it was, there were some ups and downs. There were some ups and downs. Um, the girls went shopping to choose something for Zara's very best friend for her birthday. So that's all fun and games. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you all of that. I had a bit of a health problem and it was not what I thought it was at all. I was really like not sideways and surprised. When we get to the back in time bit for that, you're gonna have to let me know in the comments did you know about this thing? Because I did not know about this thing and it just really, it really surprised me, honestly. The thing I thought was wrong with me was not the thing that was actually wrong with me. And then we had the children's birthday parties. I did a thing that could have gone horribly wrong, horribly wrong. It could have been disastrous, but actually was it? Uh, well, again, we're gonna have to wait till we get, go to pastry to find out. But very quickly, before we do a little time hop, in fact, we're gonna do two, we're gonna jump back to about half an hour ago, and then we're gonna jump back to the beginning of half term just after that. Did you know you were gonna get so much time travel in this vlog? You did not. But before the time travel, I need to decide what I am making for dinner tonight, because I'm delighted to say that we've had a HelloFresh delivery yesterday. It makes me so, so happy when I get these because if you've ever heard me like talking about meal planning and things before, then you'll know it's just one of those things. And I know you guys feel the same because I hear you in the comments, I hear you in my DMs, you're like, oh, what to feed my family daily? It's just the bane of my life. But yeah, HelloFresh makes that nice and easy. If you're not familiar with HelloFresh, then it's quite possible you've not seen a lot of my vlogs because if you have seen my vlogs, you know I absolutely love them. With HelloFresh, you can take the headache out of meal planning with delicious pre-portioned recipes delivered directly to your door. You can choose from over 44 recipes every week from just 3.15 per portion, but that's before the discount and they've given me an amazing discount to share with you. And all of these recipes come with easy step-by-step -step instructions that even I can follow. If all of that doesn't sound tempting enough, HelloFresh have given me this amazing offer to share. So if you use the QR code, the link, or the code on screen now, you can get 60%, that's right, 60% off your first HelloFresh box and 20% off for the next two months. I love them because I think the whole premise of my channel is mum life is busy, we all struggle with the juggle, and if there is anything we can do to streamline things, make life easier, I'm absolutely here for it. We've all got far too much on our plates and actually figuring out what to put on our family's plates is just a lot of head work. So being able to choose delicious recipes and you can actually see the pictures of what you're gonna be making before you even pick it. I always try and choose the quick and easy recipes because I do not have ages and ages to cook in the night. So I choose from the selections that don't take that long. So for example, this one takes 15 minutes, this one's 30 to 35 minutes, and this one's 10 to 15. So that's just perfect for me. So tonight, are we gonna have Tex-Mex style pork mince tacos? I haven't had these before and I've got to say one of the things that I have really enjoyed about HelloFresh is I often get the kids to choose which ones we're going to have 
with me and they're more likely to try things if they've helped pick but also I kind of get them involved in the prep they love it they're like oh hello fresh is coming and you know they like putting on an apron and like reading out the recipe cards and things and helping and they're more likely to try things because they think they've like made it themselves so it's just it's a win-win for me because even daddy of four who I'm going to admit out of my five children. If you're really new around here, um, then a few people have thought, especially over on my Disney channel, that I only count three children is her husband, her fourth child. No, my husband is not my fourth child, but he's probably my fifth child. But he's probably the fussiest of the five of them. And even he does try new things with Hello Fresh. So we've got, do we wanna try the Tex-Mex style pork ta minced taco? We already said that, didn't we? Speedy chicken masala. We think, I think this, we've had this one before. It's really yummy. Or this one, this chicken burrito bowl. Don't know. I'm leaning towards maybe doing this one because I've got a bit more time tonight. Let me see. Tomorrow's swimming. Then Wednesday's dancing and swimming. So maybe do that one. I don't know. Maybe I'll get the children to help me pick later. I don't know. I think the thing I really like though about it is when I'm doing HelloFresh, then all I have to put on my meal plan and my planner is HelloFresh and I know all the stuff is there. Whereas normally if I'm meal planning, I'm going through groceries I've bought and I'm figuring out, you know, what's going off first, which, what have I got timing wise first, what's easy to make on what nights, which it's a whole thing, but just being able to stick HelloFresh on the meal plan is quite frankly a joy. So if you fancy grabbing that offer, I will leave all those details below. Now we're gonna jump back in time to just earlier this morning. So I'm gonna show you something and then we're gonna jump back in time again, back to half term. So I have picked up something new and exciting, to me at least, but I'm going to show you because I'm excited about it. You may have picked up by now that since I was introduced to Charles Hilbury stuff um, a year or two ago, I'm kind of flipping obsessed. And it's because all their marketing is so, so beautiful. And then the products just spoil it by going and living up to all their promises. Anyway, my favourite lip combo well, it's probably between two actually is generally the pillow talk lip cheek which is the lip you know liner the pillow talk lipstick which you can tell i love because you know it's used to bits and look what a mess i've made of that look at that look at the state of that anyway that's my favorite or maybe this this one that i've actually rubbed off the bottom but it's the kin kw one which is also clearly a favorite because look how tiny and stubby that is now anyway charlotte tilbury brought out these new lipsticks and i did go to the lipstick counter and swatch them so she brought out a whole load of matte red i'm so no good at red lipsticks i've tried red lipsticks so many times and i just feel like but just i just can't I don't know, it, I just don't feel comfortable in red lipsticks. I need to figure out how to learn to wear red lipsticks, but I'm kind of more nudies or pinks day to day. And then she brought out this whole range of pinks and they're not in the matte formula. So Pillow Talk, the kind of go-to best-selling one that everyone talks about, is a matte formula. This is a sheeny formula. Pillow Talk, which is the one that everyone always flipping talks about. Should put it on my arm. Pillow Talk is this color which is kind of a nudie pink that you will have seen me wear in most of my videos to be honest a nudie pinky color that looks good on everyone and i gotta say it pretty much does so then i saw this icon baby all over her marketing her beautiful marketing campaigns and it's in like this pinky lipstick container which just looks gorgeous and i thought i had to try this now it's similar to the pillow talk can you see how similar that is let's see if i can adjust this light so i'm going to show this through different like there you go so that's like a warmer tone light and that's maybe this cooler tone light there we go if i turn that to a cooler tone light you can see the color a bit different so this is the icon baby and this is pillow talk so this is should put a bit more pillow talk on there to show you. Let's like make it a bit more bold, shall we? There you go. So you can see pillow talk is kind of matte, and this is the one that's like the best selling one. And this has kind of got a sheen on it. And in fact, it's almost I want to say gritty. That makes it sound horrible, but it's got tiny flecks of like glitter, I guess, in it. So this is the pillow talk one. This is the icon baby. I'm gonna put the pillow talk lip liner on and the icon baby just so we can see it because I have been wearing it and people have been saying what's that Ray? 
I'm just going to show you. So this is my current like lip combo. Now, as I apply this, I am going to tell you that it's on my um, calendar list, whatever, for tomorrow. So hopefully this will actually get done because I've been talking about it flipping forever. Uh, in the last Primark uh, Come Shop With Me and Hall, I talked about doing this too. I'm going to do a Primark um, dupes video compared to the products they're trying to dupe. So I've got um, a dupe for this, which is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've got a dupe for the setting spray, dupe for the mascara I use. So I'm gonna try all that and do like half a face of one, half of the other. Uh, so if you're interested, cause I've been saying I'm gonna do it forever. If you're interested in how that goes, make sure you are subscribed with bell notifications on and I will hopefully have that video up possibly later this week or early next week. If you are watching this video like on general release and you're in my Patreon, then you've, it's probably already live in that. Okay, this is Icon Baby. It's a bit more pinky than Pillow Talk and it's got ever so slightly a glittery sheen. Just, just a tiny bit, but this, this is my lip combo of the moment, these two. I'm kind of loving them. So it's just kind of see the sheen, see the difference. Anyway, I'm liking it. I'm now gonna go and do a little bit of work, little, little bit of work. I'm gonna wipe that off so I don't get it on my cream jumper. Um, I'm gonna do a little, little bit of work before I have to go and pick up my kiddos and come home and make dinner. Still haven't decided which one of the recipes I'm gonna to do tonight, so stay tuned and we'll decide together later in this video. So the girls are shopping, generally for, for themselves, they love shopping, but also Zara's best friend is having a birthday party joint with her, isn't she? Yeah. So what what are you thinking you might buy for her? Um, Maybe like one of these little suitcases. You it's think got, that's good? It's got nail polish and like glitter to put I think I want one, I'm not sure. You kind of want that, just for the little, and what would you use a suitcase so, for, like yeah. as a doll thing afterwards? I don't know, afterwards. I could give it to like, I don't know, Illy dolls or something. Yeah, it is cool. It is kind of cool. You're just looking for a few bits and pieces, aren't you? We're thinking maybe like a little zip up case or something to put some bits inside? Yeah. Okay, put that in the basket then it's as a, a maybe. Nail polish thing. The girls also quite fancy these for yeah. wearing in the bath. How much are those? Two pound fifty. They're very cute, aren't they? And they've got munchlings press on nails. What else is down here? They've got these. Oh, I saw this before. Just not sure about this. I think it's anime, isn't it? I think I got the name wrong last time. Like Disney Princess is an anime style. Cinderella with an anime. What do you think of Cinderella like that? How do you prefer her? I like the Cinderella this book. It's quite do you prefer her drawn no drawn the, the normal way or that way? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, these are cute, look. That is one, a bunny like set. One. That's got a little bunny tail on like the skirt. Like I think, really I think those are though. for little tiny... Like, the skits are like, really small. It does say one size on it, Val. Wait, are those skits? Like, That's a skirt yeah, and a top. Six pounds. It does look but quite I, small. How about a nice hairbrush, Sarah? Oh, that's nice, yeah. Oh, what about these elastics? Elastics and clips? Or frozen? Or this stitch? Is she into Lilo and Stitch? Uh, no. No? No, no for that. I actually quite like these. Zara? Oh, look at that. Oh, I can carry. Do you like that? Yeah, I can have that. She'd like that, would she? Well, there's these, look. Best friends necklaces. Best friends, oh, I remember. Or these? I think Erin was actually really nice. Like you think that. she'd like that? Do you? Mm. Which one? Yeah. The one with the purple um, and the orange or? Maybe, maybe this one? Or this one, Nick? Ooh, or this one. I you think, think that one? Like that. Why that one? I don't know, because like... I don't know, just I think she'd like it. You think she'd like it? What have you found? Oh, Are they Marie pajamas? That's a jumper. Is that a jumper? I think we're in the pajama section, you know. I think it's like a snoody thing. Ooh, I don't care. You don't care? <laughs> oh, those purses are good. Have they got the right letter? Have they got E? Have they got E? Is this an E? That's no, that's not the right letter, is it? Well, this is a pop-up Would she like that? Or how about one of these? You could take the, take the stuffing out and put her presents inside. What do you think? 
quite small. Would you say it would work? I don't know. It's, how big a bag do you need? Uh, I was more well, thinking like, <laughs> I was more thinking like you could get a, like a toiletry bag and then put yeah. some bath bombs and things in it. What were you oh, thinking? You like that, do you? But the, this is all we can really find. That's the thing. Yeah. Hmm. I think there's a, there are I more in another section. Or how about pencil cases? I think they're on. They're in a different section. I see a ruby munchlet. Do you? You see it with your eye. Wow. Oh, look! We found the fluffy cushion section. That's nice. Now I have been looking for lilac stuff for your room because we've done Stella's room. It's only four pounds. Is it? Would that would that look good in your room? We are going to have to work on getting some of your toys off your bed, though. We'll have to work on it. We'll declutter and we'll make some space for them elsewhere. Can I, think... I maybe have one too? Do you need one to yeah, go on I, your bed? I could have like a heart and a... If that's, and if also, you think... that looks like the colour that actually goes in my bed. If you think that would work in your room, if this you think that's the finishing it. touch... Go on then. Put them in the basket. Put them in the basket. Because I did actually say I was I wanted a heart cushion for your bed, didn't I? Yeah, you do. Oh, uh, you want one for my bed. And I want one for your bed. I've been struggling to find lilac, though. There's a glittery one. Mm, which do you want? I actually prefer the non-glitter. Yeah, Up to you. same. Your call. I think I'm going to have this one. Okay. Oh, it's Zara, better. heart or flower? That is actually... Yeah, but this is pink and lilac. Which and is the theme bed. of your room, isn't it? I think I should get the flower. But is it the same price? That's the question. There's also a That is the question. That is a good... Um, where is it? Oh, £8. I know, but... Would you prefer the pink yeah, but or it's that does? Would you get the get the other one out and have a look at which one you prefer? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. That's I prefer match. that I shade. I prefer the shade of lilac on that, but that's got the two colours. Although you have already got a pink cushion, so you could just have the pink cushion and the heart, and then that that's yeah. the two colours. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you prefer the, if you would want yeah. to swap for the. You, you want to put that one back? Okay, fine. So we're, we're sticking with the hearts. Okay. Oh, we found the, the plushes. They don't look... They are Disney authorised. They don't look exactly like Disney ones. But still quite cute. And they do... Their cheeks light up, don't they, when you... When you press them. Oh, Valentino from Wish. And they do have star plushies. They've also still got quite a lot of Disney Christmas stuff, which is obviously reduced, being that it is February. So you could get a pencil case to put some bits in for friend. Is that lilac? -y? I thought it was pink. I thought it was pink. What do you think? There was a really fluffy one that was more like that was more pink, and then this one looks a lot more lilac. Also, look at this. That's Marie's face. Oh, how about you? How about you get that for Aaron to put some bits in? Would she like that or no? I don't know. What do you think? You can um, put some bits in maybe. that. Yeah, it's cute. cute. No, but I like all of them. I know you do. I'm going to choose one thing from this section. Well, you have got some of your own pocket money. You can buy something out of your own pocket money if you want to. I'm going to check all of it. Of course you are going to check all of it. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. It is adorable. You're right. Such pretty notebooks. Two pounds and... Manifest it baby pencil cases, oh, 250 or just a plain pencil oh, case. That's so cute. Oh, like a that's mermaid a section. Yes. Like a mermaid shell. Those are two pounds. What's that? It's mine though. Is it Munchlings but it's yeah, also Marie? It has Munchlings. books in it. And wow, stuff. that's cool. Oh yeah, I think oh, I should actually so get cute. that because it has supplies in it. Okay. Mm. You could take the stuff out. There's some cardboard in the back, so you could put some extra bits in yeah, there. Yeah, I want that. I want it. Wait, how much is it? You want? Hang on. You want it for you, or you want it for Aaron? Uh, I want it for me. Right. I don't know if you need another bag. Uh, I do. Really? I'm not sure you do. Now I like these Munchlings charger cables. Mm, quite they're quite so expensive. Cute. They're seven pounds, but they are very cute, aren't they? You do use chargers um, to charge do, devices. But so the things that Zara chose for her little friend in Primark in the end, she chose this Sifts Up Nail Polish set, which is like a really cute like fake suitcase thing for it all. She wanted this donut bath bomb, this kind of fidget poppity necklace, this pouch, and a set of best friends necklaces. Oh, look at the card she's made for her. How cute is that I'm currently sitting in the car about to go into the dentist i've had pain up here that's been radiating around here for about a week um luckily my auntie said do you want to sit with the children i've got the day off i was like 
uh, kids, do you want to come to the dentist with mummy? We'll take with Lenny and they're like, Lenny! So she's been amazing. She's um, she's gone to sit with them. So I'm hopefully going to get this sorted. Um, my The emergency appointment they could offer me was a week after I phoned. I was just talking about this on Instagram. Bizarrely, I always feel really judged by the dentist. Like, especially if I've got the children, like, please don't need a filling or anything because they're going to think I'm a bad mother. But I haven't cleaned their teeth properly, I have fed them too much sugar. But even with myself, I'm like, I never go to the GP and think, oh, I wonder if they'll judge me for this ailment. Whereas with a dentist, I'm more like, they're going to think I'm a bad person for not taking care of my teeth. So, back in the car. It's not what I expected at all. I thought it's going to be like, you're going to need a filling and all this business. As it happens, I do need a small filling, treating some early problem. But that is nothing to do with the pain I am feeling. The pain I am feeling apparently is sinusitis, which can mimic toothache. Did anyone else know that that was a thing? So I've got sinusitis, which is why I feel like I've been punched in the face. It's why perhaps I feel like I've constantly got a migraine coming on. Honestly, I guess looking at myself, I don't look that puffy. I feel puffy all around here. I had no idea. Sinusitis felt like toothache. But apparently it does. So I've got antibiotics. Well, I've got a prescription for it. I'm going to pick up. I'm just hoping that means 24 hours from now I feel a bit more human because I don't feel great right now. Um, so yes, I do need to have a feeling. Do I feel judged a little bit? Not as not as bad as I thought. Um, but um, yes, I do need a filling. It's not that urgent and it's very early signs of decay. She's like, you don't snack between meals, do you? Like, oh, no. No, honest. Anyway, I'm off to get a prescription and then hopefully I feel a bit better. I'm home now and I'm going to be honest, I'm feeling really pooey. <laughs> um, the sinusitis does explain a lot. I honestly kept thinking I was getting a migraine because I felt like it was pain behind my eye and toothache. So I thought it was two separate things, but it does make sense. It's all kind of linked, doesn't it? So I need to turn on the computer and do some work, but I'm just, I don't know, struggling to like look at screens and stuff. So maybe, <laughs> you know how I like did unpack? I unpack mostly everything. Still, this, which has got some stuff in it, there is all this junk I've been gathering in my office, so I might not have the bandwidth to do much work right now, but I am gonna have a tidy up in here because I'm finding it hard to work in this mess. And at least tidying something will have achieved something. And while I am tidying, I'm going to, I'm going to put an AirPod in because what I'm listening to is a little bit on the rude side, but I'm going to listen to uh, this comedy show that I have been, that I've started listening to. It's another Netflix special, Taylor Tomlinson. So funny. So, so funny. I was watching a lot of Catherine Ryan stuff and then this girl got recommended to me on... Um, what's it called? YouTube. Little like shorts and things on YouTube and I found it on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It's very, very funny. Or just, you know, do what I'm going to do, which is like put the phone down and listen to it while you're doing stuff. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door
So it's a few days later and it appears the antibiotics have worked. I'm feeling so much better. It's so bizarre. Honestly, I thought that I had such bad toothache that the whole tooth was going to have to come out. It was that bad. And now, it's sort of yesterday afternoon, it stopped hurting when I was biting on it. And I now don't quite feel like I've been punched in the face because I was just in so much pain here. I thought I had a migraine up here. Who would have known that sinusitis would make you think like you have both a simultaneous migraine and really bad toothache for days and days and days. Anyway. Yay for feeling much better. Today is the day of the children's, it's not joint birthday parties, they are having simultaneous birthday parties. So they are having separate birthday parties that are occurring at the same time. It is either <laughs> gonna work really, really well or I'm gonna be like, ugh. Now, in all fairness, we did a very similar thing last year for William and Barrett, it worked really well. So we're just adding one more lane in for Zara and her best friend and they're sharing a party. So I've actually got another mum helping as well. So I have got a lot of stuff here that I have um, packed ready to go to the party. I'm just going to check it over and show you guys as well what I'm taking for the party. And um, then it's going to pretty much be time to go. These are the four bags I'm taking for the three parties. Um, I have got a spare bag. Um, I need to put in a couple of bin bags actually. I normally use bin bags for obviously getting rid of rubbish, but I think they had them there last time. Um, and also for bringing home any birthday gifts, but I've got all these bags for bringing those home. So instead of party bags, if you saw my B&M come shop with me in halls, you would have heard me talking about these. I bought these for each of the children. So I've got 20 of those. I believe there are going to be a total of 19 children. So we've got like one for luck. Um, these were three pounds each and they're instead of a party bag. So um, that's just, um, I'm just saying, I'm just checking this over myself. So four, eight eggs in there. This one is another four, eight eggs. In here, we've got another couple of eggs, but also birthday cakes. So I'll try and do this without making a mess. I've got three of these princess tiara cakes, each of the three girls, obviously one of them being um, Zara's friend she's sharing a party with. Will's gone for a chocolate cake. So I've got three princess cakes and a chocolate one. We've got candles. I haven't got number candles. We've just got like normal candles. Um, I have got a pack of happy birthday napkins and as backup, I found those. I mean, they're Christmassy, but they'll do as backups. I've got two different knives, one to cut the chocolate cake, one to cut the icing cake, and they've got these like covers on them. And I've got a lighter. Do not forget to take lighters to children's birthday parties. Sometimes places that cater for birthday parties have lighters, but you know, don't take the risk, always pack one. So there are some extra Easter eggs in there. These are the rest of the sweets I bought for making up pixie dust bags for Florida that we had left over, so they're for the party. Got a massive box of crisps. In here are the cards and presents that Zara bought in Primark the other day for Hello Friend. And then, oh no, no. Oh, this box has fallen through, that's not good. <laughs> uh, no! And then in here I've also got um, tissues and wet wipes because, you know, when don't we need these? Okay, so this box, this box is broken, I don't want to put anything on top of that. Um, Oh, is that a, yeah, I think the cake's okay. The box is a bit broken. As long as I don't put anything on top of it, that should be fine. Okay, I think we've got everything. That means now it's party time. I'm thrilled to say that the simultaneous bowling parties went really well. And what could have been disastrous just turned out to be a really good example of the best way to multitask. And welcome back to the present day. I've been getting some editing done, some for my Disney channel, because I'm editing a new, like, early release vlog every week to, that's for a few weeks' time. It's like the first draft, the first cut that goes into my Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's where um, people can support creators that they enjoy, kind of like tipping people for good service, I guess, but then you get extra perks and things. So my patrons are kind of like my inner circle, kind of like my board of directors. So certain videos, especially like my Disney videos that take a really long time to edit, I find it really helpful to finish the edit, like the first cut, and then watch it probably on a big TV and look for mistakes and things. Cause I'm editing kind of sometimes four hours of footage down into under an hour and there's just so much in it. It's easy when I'm editing to like miss things that 
maybe look a bit weird in the edit or typos or music that just doesn't fit right or whatever. So I kind of do those early release videos, then I put them in Patreon, I watch them, um, and then I go back to them with fresh eyes and I tweak any mistakes before the release version. So um, every week at the moment I'm editing like a brand new early release version that sits in Patreon um, for a bit while I'm sorting it out. And then I also edit the one for the coming Sunday. I've also been editing the half tone part of this vlog and I've just realised that on the day of the children's birthday party it looks like I'm wearing the exact same jumper. But this is a different jumper. The other one was plain and this is kind of cable net so I clearly own very similar v-neck jumper type clothing stuff. Anyway now it's just about time to go and get my kiddos from school and, and then make them. So we got my kiddos home. How's school Belle? Good. Was it good? Was it good? Was it nice to be back and see your friends? Uh-huh. Oh good. Um, so we got to choose which meal to have. We got this one? Yeah. Yeah? Or this one? Or this one? Mm, that one. You think that one? That is a good choice because that one actually takes a bit longer and I've got a bit more time today. So well done! Well done! <laughs> do you want to help or do you, you just want to go play? Um, I'm not sure. You're not sure? You can go play if you want. I don't mind. <laughs> I do need help laying the table though. Okay. You and your brother and sister. That's dinner done. It was actually delicious. Everyone really enjoyed that one. It's nice to get them to try new stuff. It really, really is. So thank you so much, HelloFresh, for working with me again. It really is a joy. It's like a real no-brainer when brands I love, like, do you want to work with this again? I'm like, I really do. Because, you know, when it's the kind of thing that you just genuinely use and enjoy anyway, it's just it's just a no-brainer to share things that I like so thank you so much for them it really helps support the channel don't forget if you want to grab that offer 60% off your first box 20% off for two months and free gifts can't go wrong so I'm now gonna go and wrestle my children into bath and bed and I think I'm gonna get a reasonably early night I've been really kind of sleepy um this afternoon I think it's just the my first day back to getting up early, all of half term, because obviously the children are off so I had less time to work. I should have been doing my getting up before the children, working while I had that quiet time, you know, I should have been doing that even more. But obviously I really felt unwell. I'm so glad I finished my antibiotics this morning and genuinely I feel like a new woman. And I really struggle to know when should I be push, push, pushing myself to, you know, not be lazy and get on with it and get up and do the things. And when should I be listening to my body? And I don't think I'm very good at leaning towards the listening to my body side. And last week I was just like, I can't, I've got to have a rest from kind of early morning. So I guess I'm probably a bit tired because it's my first like early morning, my first five something alarm in a bit. But I know if I stick with it, if I keep getting up and exercising now that I'm feeling better, um, then I'll, that'll actually up my energy levels. But I, I do think that being a bit more gentle with myself last week while I was under the weather was the way forward because I think historically sometimes I don't do that and I push myself a bit harder and then I get a much worse so if uh, anyone else out there needs someone because I often need it to say slow down prioritize rest because you're no good to anyone if you're ill then if you need to hear for whoever needs to hear that right now because that's often me that needs to hear that Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do those YouTube things. I will be filming that Primark half and half face of Primark makeup versus other makeup. I'm really testing it, so that's going to be loads of fun. Um, I got loads of other really good stuff coming up for you, and loads of organisation. We're going. I've got so much organisation stuff I need to be doing over the next few months. Uh, so. Um, Make sure you're subscribed and you ring the bell and all those YouTube things and check out my Patreon if you want to hang out with me a bit more and get some early release behind the scenes kind of stuff. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.